I am Draken, and this is the Draken Gameworks, and welcome back once more. And we are down at our dock side there. So you may remember as many episodes ago, we started working down this area. We haven't finished it, but we built a few ships down here that are in the dry docks. But this area here, we've got these two like plinth areas that we've got around here. Let's actually take a look at these a bit closer. And um, you can see that we have these two raised plinths. And I've decided that... Um, I wanted to build a wizard tower, wizard academy in this or across these plinths here. So it's sort of creating sort of with eight different elements. Um, you know, who knows Terry Pratchett knows there are eight colors of magic, <laughs> technically. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to work with eight different towers with eight different elements on it. And uh, so that's what we're going to try and build in this area. So I've marked them out. I've got the, uh, I've got six towers marked out, but I'm going to have two of them are also going to be floating in the air, which should uh, look pretty cool. Make the place look a little bit magical as well. And they're going to be built between these two plimps with some stairs coming up to it. We've got like a portal that will come connect in the middle here. Um, so all of this area is going to be sort of taken over with that sort of idea. You can also see, just as a sneak peek over here, I've also been planning on building a small little cathedral. Not the big size cathedral that we were planning at one point in time, but we might build a small cathedral at some point down on this side over here. Um, but yeah, this plinth over here, that's what we're going to be building there. Now, unfortunately, we don't have um, replay mode yet, so I'm not going to be able to do a time lapse. So we're going to just basically do some off-camera building and then come back and do progress updates as we're going through. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. So we come back to it and you can see we now have a bunch of towers or at least the beginnings of the towers. And we've got beacons in the middle of each of these as well. And we've got two floating towers here as well. Let's have a little closer look at the towers here. Um, so yeah, so those little circles in the ground that you saw us a minute ago, uh, they have now been built up into these sort of halfway towers. This, the towers aren't complete. It's probably about half the height uh, each of these towers are going to be. This academy is going to have um, buildings and walls, and it's going to be a bridge connecting the two plimps over and everything else as well. It's the plan in the long run. But um, the the main central focus is going to be these eight towers that we have here. And they're all going to be sort of different heights. So we've got some that are slightly higher than others. Uh, so you've got some that are sort of the, the tallest one there. We've got a short one over there, for example. Uh, and we've got a few others here. And each of the beacons you see have different colors and that represents whichever sort of element they are um, tending to uh, sort of focus on, so we say. And we've got a couple of towers that are floating in the air as well, because, you know, why not? We, we use a magical uh, academy. Towers could float in the air, I suppose. And, um, you know, this one's going to be the air tower. So this is going to have, uh, this is going to be focusing on the element of air. That's why we have a nice light blue color in there for its beacon. That one's going to be smoke. So it's got the gray beacon. Um, but yeah, they, it would make sense that these are being sort of like lighter than air sort of towers. The, 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 uh, they would actually be uh, up in the air itself. So that's kind of that idea concept that we've got there. So we've got some sort of the crystals sort of built underneath there, like we've done with some of the stuff inside of the, uh, the track and spire previously. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a straightforward basic towers. Uh, done a little bit of texturing on the uh, the brickwork there, just so it's not just standard brickwork. It looks a little bit rundown, and then we just have uh, polished basalt just sort of expanding upwards. But uh, the next bit now is because these the second half of these towers is going to be basically quite individualized. Um, and it's going to be depending on the element that it's involved with. So the idea is like, for example, if we have the water tower, which is going to be this one here, there's probably going to be waterfalls sort of coming off the side of the tower, um, sort of splashing down into pools and everything else. So we're going to have to build the tower to take that into consideration. That one over there is going to be a magma tower. So we're going to, have to do a similar sort of thing with magma. This will have fire up its side because it's the fire tower. Smoke, you know, you get the impression. You've got smoke, we've got air. We're going to have to do something with air, probably create some sort of clouds or something like that around it. Uh, we've got the... Uh, which was that? That's the ooze tower. So that will be with loads of slime blocks and everything else. Good job we built a slime farm last week. <laughs> and we've got the earth tower over there. And then we've also got the ice tower there as well. So we've got a few different sort of towers that are going to be sort of connecting across here. So um, let's crack on. Let's see if we can get some of these individual towers sort of built and uh, see how they would finally look. I would happen to choose the pouring rain and blizzards of snow to show you the next bit of this. But if we come on over, back over to here, we have done a little bit more. I'd say a little bit more, quite a bit more actually. So the towers have been built up, as you can see, and we got some walls around the outside. So this is the next stage of the build. This has actually taken, there's about a week's worth of progress in this, because I haven't been like at it fully 24 seven, but uh, yeah, I've been sort of coming back and forward and getting some inspiration and going away and sort of coming up with ideas and how we want to do these sort of different towers here. So they've got all their different beacons in there, as you can see with the colors, but we've also now got like the rooftops. There's one which is missing its roof. This one down here is supposed to miss its roof, this one, because this is the earth tower. So we kind of got like a very sort of 
earthy theme around here. I need to actually put a bit of glass in there, actually, the brown glass, but uh, just to seal that off so we don't accidentally fall into the tower. Um, but yeah, it's, it's sort of meant to be like uh, sort of a more sort of nature-driven tower, this one. That's why you've got the vines falling off the side and everything else as well, so it's a bit more nature-driven on that one, and it's a bit open-topped because of that. This one, however, is missing its roof. It's going to be a domed roof like you see with some of the towers, but I was going to do it in copper blocks. But as you may know, copper blocks are quite difficult to come by. And I wanted them to sort of all oxidize as well. So they go to that green color that you get as well. So take, these ones are taking their time. There's one over there that sort of seems to have gone. But um, yeah, this one's going to be, this is the ooze tower. So you'll see we've used slime blocks and uh, green concrete on the side there as well. Um, so yeah, all of these are sort of basins, of, of, I'll say eight elements. So there's four, the four main elements, obviously fire, water, earth, and um what are we talking about? Earth and... What's the other one? What have I missed? Water, fire, earth and water. Yeah, no, it's those four. That's it. Sorry, I forgot for a second which ones we have. So we've got the earth tower here. Uh, and this one over here is the water tower. Um, that makes it sound like it's somewhere we're going to get drinking water from. But no, this is the water tower here. So I use sort of prismarine blocks on the ceiling because obviously that comes from the oceans, the ocean monuments. And then we've got water pouring all the way down the outside and into this uh, sort of pool here. But actually, because this tower sits on the outside, the water actually cascades over the side as well. So we have this nice sort of water feature coming off the tower on this side as well. So that's the water tower. Then we've got the one with the dangerous roof. This is the fire tower. Uh, so we've got Neverrack up the side. And then I realized afterwards you couldn't light the side of fire, uh, Neverrack, which is a bit of a shame. But then we also have then the roof is made out of Neverrack as well and is also on fire. So it is, uh, this is, that's the fire tower. And um, then we have, uh, as I say, we've got the Earth Tower, which one we see? Oh, the Sky Tower, which is all the way up here, which I've just basically used. This is built floating in the air with like a nice uh, transparent blue dome on the top here. Um, so that you can sort of go from there. I'm thinking about building like a cloud or something like that. Sort of deciding how to do that, maybe build like a nice little white fluffy cloud around the outside of the tower as though it's being suspended inside the cloud itself. So that would be the four primary elements. And then we also have um, four secondary elements. So ice, technically, this is, I borrowed a little bit from the old second edition D&D planescape. So shh, from the old elemental planes, because it's like you've got all these different types of planes and then you've got the negative and positive energy planes. If you know the whole old um, planescape uh, setup, it's very confusing. If you don't, don't worry about it. But everything is basically, these extra four are basically a combination of two others. Uh, so, like, for example, ice is meant to be a combination of water and sky, if I remember correctly. And ooze is a combination of water and earth, which then produces the ooze one. Um, then we have smoke, which is fire and sky. And then you've got lava, which is uh, fire and earth, see if I remember rightly. Because uh, the, the polar opposites don't get um, made into one, so you don't get... Uh, fire and water combining, because that would just be probably steam, I'd imagine, um, which we could do, but uh, I wanted to keep it to just eight towers. So we've got the smoke tower over here. This is another floating tower like the air tower, not quite as uh, high up in the air, but we have like these little bits on the side here, which are sort of smoking away. And I've got a few things in the roof as well that are also just sort of smoke pouring out, sort of hidden away some campfires inside the roof itself. So we get this sort of smoke effect coming out the top of the tower. Um, quite like the look and the way that one works. Again, we might build a cloud around it, maybe like a little smoke cloud around the outside. That might work. And then, uh, as I say, we've got the magma tower. I'm not going to land in the magma tower because it's, yeah, as you can see, incredibly dangerous. Actually, as all the towers, this is probably the most dangerous tower out of the lot of them. We have a pool of lava forming around the outside. And even on the roof here, we have these patches of uh, magma cubes, or magma blocks, should I say, rather than magma cubes that are all the set up in there as well. So the only tower really we've got to finish the the ex exterior off. Obviously I've got to do the interiors and there might be some other like windows and stuff to be put in some of these is going to be maybe do the copper roof on this once we get some more copper uh, as it is slowly oxidizing away. I think the rain's probably helping it a little bit here now. Um, and also to, oh I'm nearly out of health actually, <laughs> but a bit crashing into things. I better make sure I don't die in the middle of the stream here. Uh, stream in the middle of the video. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a few things that are sort of floating around and maybe we'll do some clouds on those two towers. But the other thing we've done is, uh, let's get some sleep a second uh, and go through to them. There we are, sorted. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is also sort out the, wa um, the walls and the buildings inside here. So these, this isn't the end, this is just the towers, but there will be buildings uh, and there's going to be an entrance as well. We've got a bridge that I've started building through the centre here that connects the two, uh, the two plimps together. Uh, and then the entrance is going to be over here. So we'll have um, like an entrance that comes out here. Uh, and then probably come down in a set of stairs just 
inside between the two plinths underneath the bridge there and that sort of leads down there so we've got one entrance in which brings us into this courtyard and then we'll have it sort of go through to there but i'm going to build a couple of buildings in here as well and some buildings on the other side there sort of as though it's uh, some sort of a wizard academy sort of description here um so there's still a bit more to go uh there's still a bit more to finish off but we've got the, the exterior walls i want to turn her also uh and put a load of sort of um greenery along here replace this stone on the outside of the wall with greenery um it won't be all this way around there because we'll do it for most of the way around but when we get around to this side we've got some defensive areas here so uh, we'll probably build the greenery up to here and then this will be like defensive area here because this is sort of looking out from the main part of the wall here so that works out quite well so um yeah so this is the the next step in the phase of construction uh we'll come back in a second when we've got the next bit done <laughs> we've got a bit more to report on it uh, i so wish we had um replay mod running at the moment so we can actually turn around and do time lapses but it shouldn't be too long so we'll see that all soon anyway and shouldn't be too long is what he says in the last clip and then i sort of disappear for a month um yeah i've had a few things but since i was recording the last bits in this one um my mental health took a bit of a plunge. I've had a bit of uh, various different pieces. So it's been about a month or so. I know some people have been commenting and sort of saying, where have you gone? I'm still here. I'm still doing things. I've still been potting around in the background, just doing bits and pieces. Um, a bit of sort of been struggling a little bit. And uh, so uh, just taking a bit of time for myself as well, uh, as was needed. But I've not completely vanished. I haven't completely stopped doing things. I've been jumping on as and when I can to get some work done. And actually a bit of work that we have done indeed so i've got the replay uh not replay mod sorry the shaders all loaded up and everything so i thought we'd come and have a look at this now with the shaders because uh, this site this isn't what we just built this is uh, what we built if you might remember in a couple of episodes ago with the uh, we've got the uh, the various farms down the front here we've got like a sugar cane farm here and there's like um there's a, a, a podzil farm in there and then down there we've got a big pumpkin and melon farm that's converting it over into bone mills we've got loads of bone meal being produced but i thought we'd start here and the reason we're starting here before we go and look at the academy is because we have the tunnel that leads underneath uh, the academy uh, the academy there the uh, barracks that we built i think last episode I, I, it's been so long now i've forgotten what we've done in which episode but i decided i'd get a bit more progress done and this week in particular i've, I've spent quite a lot of time building uh, a lot of buildings that are coming through here so if we come to the other side of here and you can start to see that the city has changed and i wanted to do this from ground level so you can get a bit of an appreciation of what it looks like from ground level so there's the city walls for the inner city there and we now have all this housing that has been built around what was the gate entrance so we come around to here you've got there we've got uh, this uh, these steps here they lead up to uh we have like uh we built them again last time we had various different types of farm here i think that was the uh Oh, was it the mushroom blocks wasn't it the mushroom farm there and we've also got this one here is the um uh not podzo it's the other one mycelium <laughs> that's the one i can't remember i can minecraft honest um i can't remember these particular ones but they're all up in there and then as we come through down here we can actually see we start coming through to where we saw before previously we had like a uh church little church being uh, planned out i've actually done a little bit more on that i put the walls up uh, so the interiors of these buildings haven't been done yet, and uh, we've started to put the walls up on the church here, which is uh, is looking pretty uh, pretty good. I think this is going to come together quite nicely once we start designing it there. We can start seeing the academy loading in there as well in the background. But then we've got all of these buildings have been done. Um, and yeah, you can see we've just got it. Just decided to go with like, instead of like um, the sort of smaller bungalow type houses that we had on the other side of the outer city, I thought we'd go with this sort of more terraced housing around here. I sort of might fit closer to the Docklands to be a little bit more congested with its housing. So this has taken a lot of spruce wood to build all of this. And I love that we've got all these little overhangs and sort of little bits that are tucked away in here, just as we have with some of the uh, sort of the star building over in the, uh, the inner city. Um, but again, I went for the sort of slightly lower floors here. So there's only like two blocks to a floor. It's, it's designed to be sort of cheaper housing. Again, it's not meant to be uh, expensive housing. Uh, so you can sort of cram in lots of people in here. I imagine this is almost doubled, maybe with the amount that we've put here, doubled, maybe tripled the capacity of the city, I think. Um, but if we come around to here and we can actually just duck into the back bit here, we can come out to here. We've got a little bit of a ledge here. And you can see this is where we got the dry docks that we built before previously. So you've got the back of the church over there. We've got steps now coming down into the lower sections. And so we've got our dry docks here. And then we can come back up and then we can actually wander around into the city. And you can see we're coming closer to the academy, those towers and stuff that we built before. 
And we've done a bit more work on those as well, which we'll get to look at in a minute as we come through here. And I like this as we're coming through here, you sort of got the academy almost sort of looming above us here, actually. You can sort of just see the towers poking over the top of the uh, the rooftops here as we're coming closer to it. And uh, if we come around to down here, we come out to the, uh, the sort of the forecourt underneath the academy. Uh, so you've got the bridge that connects over the two sort of plinths that we've got there for the academy itself. We've got, uh, I made a bit of a sort of, a little bit of a communal area here. So we've got a portal here. We've got uh, a couple of uh, fountains on either side here. We've got a bit of greenery. We've got some benches over there for people to come and sit on. Uh, so we've got that kind of thing. We've got some uh, sort of glowing vines coming down as well. Just to add a bit of greenery here as well. I might want to trim them back actually a little bit and use some string to sort of keep their, their heights up. But then if we come up to here, and around the corner we will be into the academy itself and you can see that we've actually added buildings into the academy as well we've got um, another bench in here so kind of keeping with the sort of general style and feel there we've got the sort of greenery there and everything else again i haven't done the insides yet so do forgive me on that one but you've got like i said this building here and sort of going for this sort of combination sort of look to it so it's a bit sort of like a combination of various other buildings have got the kind of like gothy uh, sort of uh, columns on the side there but at the same time um, you've got sort of more of a wooden sort of design for it sort of that uh, these I imagine would be like dormitories and like outhouses and we come through here we come over the bridge and seeing these with the uh, the shaders mod this looks really lovely actually just seeing all the smoke pouring off the, uh, the smoke tower and the fire off the fire tower and in fact, the water coming off the water tower as well, screaming down the side there. That was pretty cool. Okay, and here we go again. We've got a couple of little buildings here as we come in here. And then we've got like a main building here. So this is almost like the main hall, you know, meeting hall and everything else for the academy itself. Um, so that's all sort of sat there. And then so again, you can sort of see inside. There's, there's no <laughs> interiors done. I'm not going to get those done just yet. That's going to be a big blast towards the end. And then if we come down here, uh, we should be able to reach then. Uh, you can see nice and bright with the uh, the shaders on is the uh, the magma tower there with its magma pouring off the side there. And I've used some of the sort of the new trees as well. Those are just new trees just put in the ground of the azaleas and uh, bone mealed up to uh, sort of give some uh, different shaped trees around the place and everything. Which I think looks quite nice. I love the azalea trees. They've done something nice and different with those. Uh, again, it's sort of like improving on the sort of the designs they've done previously. So I like uh, like the way they look and you can just use them as is and they, they sort of already look like uh, something a little different and unique uh, compared to what we previously had. I still haven't completed the slime tower getting the copper to go and finish the roof off. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to completely do it in copper. I might actually use a bit of slime blocks and everything else to complete that off and sort of mix it in a little bit so it's almost like slimes dripping off the top of the roof as well and coming over uh, covering over the uh, the copper blocks because copper is quite expensive to get hold of so um, we'll probably try and do that between episodes um, but yeah this is uh, this is this is complete let's uh, let's have a look at it from the air and see what it looks like um, as we come over in the dusk and you can sort of see we also sort of done all the greenery on the outside it doesn't feel uh, sort of so uh, sort of grey and concretey and everything else like that and uh, we've also got all the rooftops here for what we've done with the outer city so this is coming on quite nicely actually you sort of think about it um we've developed quite another large section of the outer city itself we'll get the uh, hopefully we'll try and get for the next episode this uh, this church done and we'll get some of the warehousing done along here i want to try and sort of the next step is to try and get this all front down to about here done to get that completed in we're gonna have to move out uh, lady bex's duck unfortunately and build some uh, ships out here as well um, so I think that's going to be our next step is just to try and get this waterfront done. So that's going to be probably on our next video, which will be, I think the next one's going to be episode 49, isn't it? So we're coming up to episode 50 soon. Um, the other thing is that we are running out of time. Um, you know, Mojang is working hard to get 118 out, and we have already said that we're going to do season 2 when 118 comes out. That I'm looking forward to. That's going to be absolutely awesome when we do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's going to be brutal when it comes through, but... Uh, that's going to mean that uh, we need to have everything completed soon in the next couple of months. So we haven't got long left to finish everything. That means completing all of this inner city, uh, sorry, this outer city, because the inner city is pretty much done, and also do uh, more of the bits and pieces on the landscape around the outside. We are getting there step by step, um, but there's going to be a bit of a rush on. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, this looks lovely as we go into the nighttime. Look at that. Look at the academy with all its, uh, all its beacons sort of lighting up the background there. It looks awesome, though I'm sure I'm probably going to get some spawns cropping up in a minute if I'm not careful. But in the meantime, I've been tracking. I will try not to leave it too long before the next video, and we'll try and get some complexity out as well again soon. But in the meantime, I'm Draken. This has been the Draken Gangworks. 
hope you all take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye.